What's going on everyone? It's Rifle here and thanks for checking out this video. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock the secret chest at the tower. Now I'm not going to take credit for this. I got to give credit where credit is due. The first person to have visual proof of actually opening up these chests was by this guy right here called Mythical Random. Now I contacted him on Xbox Live and he ended up explaining to me on how he got to unlock these by getting Dance Party Key and another key called the Ludapalooza. Now his videos aren't the best quality on YouTube. I'm not trying to hate on him or anything. He's a very generous guy to share this info, but he was recording with his cell phone, so I, I wasn't really understanding the video fully. But once I ended up getting him in my Xbox Live party, I ended up understanding completely. And then he ended up sharing to me his Xbox clips, which were a lot better quality than what he was uploading on YouTube for his proof. And how you do it, it's actually pretty random. If you end up enjoying this video, consider leaving a like everybody, it's greatly appreciated. And also maybe share this around the community so a lot more people will know about it. I'm sure you're gonna be seeing a lot of videos posted here soon of other YouTubers as well. Anyways, how you do this, he had said that he ended up completing the Leviathan raid against Callus. And when he went to go loot the chest, a green triangle had dropped out of the chest. He went to go pick that up, and he got a key called the Ludapalooza. Now he said, keep this in mind everybody, you're not going to get this every time that you take out Callus. And he doesn't know for sure if it just drops from Callus. It could drop from other parts of the raid as well. But he did mention he was the only person in his fire team to get a hold of this key. No one else in his fire team got this. So it seems to be randomly generated. He just got lucky enough to get it. And also this drop has just recently came into the game after a recent hotfix. Whichever one it was, I'm not exactly sure. It probably was the most recent one though. Anyways, once you got the Ludapalooza key from the Leviathan Raid, you just want to head over here to activate the event. As you can see, it's like a little public event in the tower now for everybody. Now this is the most interesting part, I have to say. The next chest that you loot, you end up getting a dance party key. Now not everybody in the tower gets this key. He thinks the only person that actually gets the dance party key is the person that activated the event. Now other people can loot this chest, which by the way, it's pretty hidden over here at the hangar. You just want to head over in this direction, make this long jump across, jump on top of these crates over here, and then you just want to jump onto this pipe and then make your way onto this top balcony area. And then from here, I mean, the chest is pretty plain and simple. You just gotta go over to it now and open it. And also, by the way, you will notice when this event is active in the tower, because of course it's active like a public event, and also there's a navigator to show you where the chest is located at. So just because you didn't use the Ludapalooza key doesn't mean you're not gonna get to loot these chests is what I'm trying to get at. You're just not going to be able to get the dance party key, I'm pretty sure. That's what he was saying anyways, that he was the only one to get that that he saw since he activated it. And they can choose the location of where they want to start the dance party. There's a couple locations on where you can, I guess it all depends on what faction you're a part of and where you want to celebrate at. I'm pretty sure you just have to wait for the Ludapalooza event to time out, then you can start the dance party somewhere. And also high gear can drop from this. All I was seeing was legendary gear and exotics. But yeah, there you guys have it. The mystery has officially been solved on how to unlock these secret chests that are in the tower. Bungie did announce that they were here and now they have officially been solved thanks to this guy once again, Mythical Random. I'm just spreading the word to the community more. So yeah, now since that's out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play an official interview that I did with him. I asked him a few questions that you guys might also wonder about. I pretty much covered it all though with what I just explained here. But if you wanna stick around and hear me talking to him about the questions I had about this, feel free to stick around. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking time to watch and listen. And if you found this enjoyable, once again, consider leaving a like and also make sure to share this with the community because I know for a fact a lot of the community is wondering about this. Until next time, though, peace. So now since I explained that, I wanted to actually have proof, you know, from you since you are one of the first people to open up this chest. How did you get the key in order to open this chest up? Well, I just got online and I looked for a random group to do Callus because I wanted to get that off for my weekly events. And after we beat it, when we got to his chamber where he usually drops all of his items, like full of all of his other calluses, I picked it up there. It was like a little green uh, triangle that you could pick up. It's kind of like a token almost. It dropped from that and I picked it up and then that's how I got it. What was the key called? It didn't start out as a dance party key, did it? Uh, Luta Palooza key. No, it gave me the loot a Palooza key, and then that I used in the tower to get the dance party key. Where did you use that at? Um, I could invite you to a game and show you real quick if you want to. 
Yeah, I got it after beating Callus. I don't know if it could drop from other parts of the raid. I only did Callus, and that's how I got it. Yeah. So don't, like, I don't know if it dropped from other parts. Gotcha. I just got it from him. Gotcha. So it's a possibility it could drop from other parts of the raid. It, I, it possibly. I don't know. I mean, it seems like it would just drop from the end raid because it's kind of like a celebration. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so when you completed the raid after, you know, you got Callus taken out, it dropped a, lo a Palooza key, I believe that's what you said, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so how I accessed it, after I went to the tower, I looked up a video and I was scouting around. They, uh, I, I posted a comment on someone's channel and they said that it's up by Eric Jalal, this guy. So I was like, okay. And then I came over here and I ended up finding it. So this is where you put the key that I got from the raid. Oh. And then after I did that... It triggered that public yeah. event basically in the tower for everyone right. to get a chest. Or multiple chests. Right. Everyone could grab it. So anyone that... you know, I don't think you have to do the raid. It's like the Iron Banner thing. Yeah. Like Destiny 1, basically. Yeah, I got you. Just as long as one person has it. After that happened, it spawned the chest over here. And then everyone was like struggling to figure it out. It's kind of like a tricky little puzzle that you have to jump around in. Yeah, I've been up here before. And we were sitting here for a few minutes. Yeah, and then... You just make your way up here, like you normally would if you're exploring, and it just spawned up here on this. Yeah, and what's weird, I noticed that it said Cade 6 has spawned chest, like multiple chests, not just one. Yeah, yeah so maybe there's more but there than was just only this. one. There was only one that was on there. True. It, it only have... showed one, like, item, so I didn't see anything. True, it did have, like, a navigator to where to go, so maybe this is the yeah. other one. Yeah, and then once you picked that up, it gave you the dance party key? Yeah, that's correct. And then there's a four minute timer, so I guess it just gives like enough time for everyone to go around grabbing it. So And then there's like different locations that you can put this in, but I put it in right here. Gotcha, yeah. I seen one over at New Monarchy and whatnot. So I guess it's like a celebration for each faction. If you're part of like Dead Orbit, you can celebrate right. with the Dead Orbit faction. If you're part of New Monarchy, etc. That's pretty cool though. Well, I was part of the Future War Cult, so I just did it over here. Oh. And then it spawns, like, right here, and then you just get Glimmer. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, that's I wonder if other people get the dance party key when they go loot that chest, or is it just the person that started it? Do you know? I, well, a bunch of people were decoding Ingrams in the tower at the time of me doing it, so I don't remember exactly if people grabbed it, but I remember me seeing it, and then I just saw a bunch of, like, Ingrams being opened. I don't think anyone else actually could grab it. Because all I did was see, like, legendaries and exotics dropping. I didn't see another key coming to anyone. Okay. All right. That's good to know. And, um, one more thing. I know you're on a different account right now. Your original account is what? Mythical... Mythical Random. Okay. Yeah, you want to sign that into the party to prove... Are you prepared? Yeah, I'll sign it in real quick. Yep. As you guys can see, this is the guy who made the YouTube I got video suspension. for proof. Yeah, you got a communication ban, didn't you? Or something? I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I figure I have a couple yeah. buddies like that. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate you taking the time to share this info with the community and me. Yeah, you're welcome. So that's awesome. You're welcome. All right. Yep. Oh, I got to go. Yep. Catch you later, dude. <laughs> All right. Catch you later.